So, a wonderful good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us again. Welcome to the Hannover Messe and, of course, welcome to our Amram booth. Now, my name is Thomas and uh, joining me this afternoon is uh, our expert on this production line here, Thomas Brockmann. It's good to see you. And uh, Thomas and I, we would like to use the next five minutes to start up this production line and also elaborate on the different work steps that you can see here. Now, obviously, a lot has changed over the past couple of years due to the pandemic. Many manufacturers faced and are still facing quite a few challenges. Now, productions had to be stopped due to labor shortage and also because customer demands have changed more rapidly than ever before. Now, what if I told you that this production line here could actually help you to prevent those issues from ever happening again? And what if I also told you that this production line here could support any inexperienced operator to do a flawless job to avoid mistakes and enable you to produce more than just one single product on a single line? Now, the component in question today is this input-output assembly, which you can see here. Uh, this gets here pre-assembled and needs to be completed by mounting those screws, which you can see from above. And uh, before we get into the nitty gritty, before we get into all the details, uh, please, Thomas, be so kind, give us just a broad overview on this production line. What we here show in general is um, how perfect and in harmony uh, machines and humans can work together. So everyone does what he can best do. Uh, humans do complex tasks, for example, and machines do vision inspections and uh, correct mistakes that were done by human. Uh, produced in this line is an I.O. unit from Omron. And um, we can do this in a high mix, low volume um, production. So we have variable products and can do it for a lot size of one. All right, well, thank you very much, Thomas. Now let's talk just a bit about the different work steps that we can see here. Now, step number one is that we have our first Amram mobile robot, which delivers the pre-assembled part to the operator. Now, once the part gets here in one of those black boxes, what happens then? First of all, the operator um, has to sign in at the machine. So he has to identify himself and then he scans an order code. In this order code, the information is contained what product is produced and how much product this batch contains. After scanning the order code, the operator gets instructions on the displays you can see here above. All right, so after the operator got done mounting those screws, he will then place the part in the robot's workspace right there. The cobot will then pick up the part and then what happens next, Thomas? Ah, in the next step, um, the robot will uh, do a vision inspection of the product. In this case, he's looking for missing screws, for example. Um, if there are really missing screws, the cobot will uh, pick up a screwdriver and place the screws where they are missing. This is done completely automated. After this step, the cobot picks up the product again and brings it to the next station, to the laser marker. In this station, the product is marked with a code for traceability reasons. Right, so after the product got marked for traceability, the second cobot will then pick up the part and it will do a final visual inspection, which means it will check for any missing screws and it will then forward it by placing it into one of those blue boxes. Now that brings us to our last process step. Yes, when uh, all the products are, uh, are finished within this uh, order, they are placed in the blue box. And um, this is the start for our second mobile robot that um, picks up the blue box and brings it to the storage. Now lastly, I don't want to miss mentioning that we do have another vision system installed up there, which has a great view onto the entire workspace. Now what is that good for, Thomas? The camera above records the complete workspace and divides the, the picture into four areas. So we can track how long every stage of this workspace was uh, in use. This we can use afterwards for analysis if there are some unusual events occurring. For example, one work step takes abnormal time. We can 
do afterwards an analysis and can, for example, view the video where we can see what happened in this workspace. For example, if there are some materials that are not in the place right now or some tools that are not um, available. So it's all about optimization of the complete production line and the process. So if you would like to find out more on how to avoid unexpected downtime due to labor shortage and how to enable easy, flexible manufacturing, well, please feel free to talk to us right after this. Thank you very much for your attention and have a beautiful afternoon. Thank you.